That means when you add HCR, um, thinking about the third country resettlement, these are six criteria that they need to determine if the case is actually for a settlement. That means if somebody needs legal or protection, survivors of torture or violence, medical needs, usually children and women and um, girls at risk. And uh, the last category is family reunification. Um, we at the agency actually worked with all six categories of um, resettlement. This is a priority system that UNHCR actually um, put down as a process of uh, processing refugees. That means, for example, I flee the war in Bosnia and I actually went and reported myself to UNHCR and um, asked for a settlement in a th third country because I could not go back. Sometimes, in a case, for example, um, we had a whole Bhutanese community that was placed in Nepal, never recognized by Bhutan. Um, they were just in a process in Nepal and the whole group was recognized as a refugees. That's actually that group referrals. That means nobody, if you go in the group referral, when you go to uh, on the interview with UNHCR, you actually have to say, okay, I have a father, mother, sister, they are part of my family, or this is the group that was um, placed in the secondary country, but nobody else can be resettled. That means if somebody comes after like five years, some far cousin from, um, from Bhutan in Nepal, because in the first time when UNHCR actually decided and dedicated this group as a refugees, that person was not included. That means that person will not be re um, resettled in a third country. And then the family reunification usually happens when one part of the family comes. We had um, situations where parents were resettled um, and they, I actually talked to my husband the one case today, uh, I had a client who came to apply for his daughter who was at the time when they separated was 11 years old. She was in school and when whatever happened in the place where they lived, the teachers actually took all the children from the school on the one side and the rest of the place went on another side to be saved and it took, actually she's still in Africa, um, but 14 years for them to actually be able to hear that she's alive and they're alive. And actually how it happened, um, they were moving from one refugee camp to another. Finally, they, uh, they were recognized for a settlement. They resettled and after a year of their resettlement to the United States, their daughter was placed in the same camp that they were. And actually the neighbor, who was neighbor of her um, parents, in conversation they were talking and somehow uh, she mentioned her last name and it's very rare. And that guy asked, okay, do you know this and this person? And that's how actually um, after 14 years the family learned that she survived and she learned that her parents and the rest of sisters and brothers were actually resettled in the United States. And now we are in the process applying 
for her to come and it will take probably years because right now she's 25 years old. Uh, in, uh, when refugees come to the United States, they actually, and this program is a program that is um, designed by the Department of State, they have a right to apply for their spouses, their children um, under 21, and they have a right to apply for their parents. But in order for this application, family members need to be refugees also. That means if somebody comes and the rest of the family stayed in a country of origin, this application is not applicable to them. They cannot apply to bring their family members because the family members need to be refugees in a second country in order to apply. <coughs> This is a very hard, actually, um, statistics of this year. Um, over 65 million people are displaced worldwide, and this is the biggest number ever. Um, usually, uh, refugees, there are 21 million, I said, um, less than 1% is eligible for resettlement in different countries. And the United States is not the only country to resettle refugees. Uh, this is a list of the country that resettle uh, refugees. Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, Finland, Hungary, Ireland, um, Japan, New Zealand, Paraguay, Romania, Sweden, Czech Republic, Australia, Bulgaria, Chile, Germany, Iceland, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Spain, United Kingdom, Uruguay, and United States. The United States is the biggest um, program, and then other two programs behind are actually Australia and Canada. There is a very interesting statistics that only 30 to 40 percent of refugees are actually placed in refugee camps. Um, that means over 60 percent refugees are urban refugees. They live in cities, they might have um, work if they are allowed to work. Um, they live um, in apartments, um, learn the language where they live, and if they have a chance, they try to apply for the resettlement. refugees and the processing of refugees um, in the United States, the first um, mentioning in the law, it was the Immigration and Naturalization Act, that it was in 1952, and then actually in Refugee Act of 1980, um, a line international definition of refugee with uh, United States 